What's up guys? My name's Amanda. My name is Emily and welcome to our channel, Yo Force Twins. Today, we just got a new lower unit. We got a new lower unit. A second new lower a unit. A second new lower <laughs> unit because the first one we had had problems with it, but thankfully it was under warranty. So we got a new one set up. Thanks to Boathouse Marine. We actually just left Boathouse Marine Center all the way down there at the end of the canal. Right there. That's Boathouse Marine Center. We just left. They set us up and we are on our way from Pompano Beach, Boathouse Marine Center, to Big Pine Key. Yes, we are. By boat. So yep. this boat does not have a trailer, so anytime we run it from here to the Keys, we take it by boat. We're mostly going to be doing family fishing. We are going to be lobstering for mini season, filming tons of videos. That's the entire goal is film videos, have a good time, and we are going to take you with us from Pompano Beach to Big Pine Key. We're going to make some stops along the way. We're going to stop, show you the Seven Mile Bridge. We're going to stop at Gilbert's in Key Largo, or Homestead technically. Where's it? Right? Key Largo. Key Largo. I take Key And Largo. we are going to, today it's a little windy, so we'll probably take the intercoastal from here down to Miami. And then once we get to Miami, cut through Key Biscayne, take the bay side all the way to Big Pine Key. Before we make our run straight down to the Keys, we have to make a stop at our slip because our bait pen is there and we're going to want to take that with us down to the Keys so that we have it. But guys, in this video, we're going to be showing you and taking you along with us. If you ever want to run a boat to the Keys, this video will help you. It will show you how to get under bridges, how to call a bridge, try and pay attention to where I'm going. It's a little rough for us today, so we are taking the intercoastal until we get to Miami and then in Miami is where we're going to cross over to Biscayne and take the bay all the way to Big Pine Key. What's really crazy to me is that people run their boats to Bimini. In my opinion, I think more often than they run them to the Keys. But honestly guys, the Keys is in the United States and it's just as beautiful. So we will take you with us along this journey. We hope you like this video. We hope you learned something. thunderstorm really not rainstorm guys it looks like it's gonna be a wet day and we have our bait pen so this thing uh, we put some stuff down on the floor to keep it off the deck and keep our deck nice and pretty but this thing has sat in the water for way too long it's growing algae and coral on it it has barnacles Look at these barnacles we got barnacles on here we are going to be taking this bait pen to the Keys and letting it sit out in the sun to dry out to clean off Look appropriately. Look at the little duckies. There. Right there. Look, Look how cute. Look at the little duckies. Look at that. Little duckies. A little ducky. They're swimming, trying to get away from this thunderstorm. I'm going to check the radar, but we are going to have to do our best to stay dry today. This boat has to get down to the Keys. It's the only day we have available for the next like two weeks to get this boat to the Keys. That we need it there. That is why we are taking the intercoastal today and not the ocean. Could you imagine being in the storm in the ocean? No, we're not taking the ocean today. We're taking the intercoastal. It's probably going to take twice as long, but that is a okay. So it is 9:41 a.m. right now. We are just leaving our slip with our bait pen, and we're going to see how long it takes for us to get from here to Big Pine Key by boat in some rain. Did you guys see that little sign with the number nine on it? So that is telling us that in order to call the bridge, you need to be channel nine on your radio, depending on the tide, depends if we need to call the bridge. Today we actually don't need to call the bridge, um, but if we did need to call it, you go to channel nine on your radio, you're gonna go ahead and say the name of the bridge. That is, I think, Atlantic. Yeah. You would say Atlantic Boulevard Bridge, okay. Atlantic. We will grab our radio. Make sure the volume is on so I can hear when they answer. I would, I'm not gonna do it. I would click on and I would say Atlantic Boulevard Bridge, Atlantic Boulevard Bridge. 
This is Gale 432 Intrepid, waiting for your next southbound opening, because I'm going south. And he will answer and say, I'm either going to open it now, or it opens at 10, or it opens in 15 minutes, whatever it is. And you will sit and wait outside of the bridge, say thank you, and you wait. And then it'll open it, and you wait for it to be completely open before you drive through. And I usually say thank you at the end. Thank you very much. And then they're usually friendly and nice. Have a nice day. <laughs> and that is how you would get through a bridge if it's too short and you can't fit under it. Here we are going under 17th Street Causeway. And if you guys look, the street signs are green on um, the bridges. And then the blue sign, the blue sign is the channel that you would call the bridge. If we were a giant yacht or a big sailboat and we needed to be called, we needed to call our channel 9 on the radio, have them open it for me. We literally, we are just now leaving Gilbert's. This is Gilbert's. This is where we always get gas on the way down. I ordered some chicken nuggets from the restaurant. I'm super excited to eat them because I'm hungry. But somehow, some way, we didn't get stuck in a thunderstorm. It was like, I mean, there was like sheets of Walls. rain on the right and sheets of rain on the left and like sun. But like, when I say sun, like, like 50 feet wide and like we were in it and it was like, and not like we were like going around. It was like we were in the channel and we couldn't go anywhere. And it was like, thank God, like we were like dry. I don't even know how we say dry, but we did. A little more ways to go or a lot more ways to go. Time to get focused, get to driving, gonna eat my chicken nuggets and make it to Big Pine soon. We'll check in with you. When are we gonna check in again? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, It'll be a surprise. Does. We'll see what the weather does and then we'll check in with you.
left at 9.41 a.m. So that took way longer than it usually does. Usually it's much quicker than that. But we had to battle wind and rain and storm. So we literally couldn't go faster than like 27 knots. Like the fastest we went was like 20. Well, we went 30 knots at one point. For the most part, we were going like 25, 27 knots. Because it was either raining or we were going into the sea. Or, or there was and could lightning. You imagine if we took the ocean. <sighs> so we were going to take the ocean. It might have been faster. But well, it probably would have been faster. Rougher. We would have probably like dipped the bow a couple times. <laughs> oh, yeah. times. <laughs> we would have taken a little more. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for keeping us company. You know, you really helped us out because that was a that was eight hours. It was time. nice to, to talk to you. It was, it was like eight it was hours like, and four it was minutes. A goal. We had a, we had a we had someone to us. talk to. We got to talk to you guys the whole time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, go go ahead and subscribe right here. Please subscribe to our channel, guys. We hope that this helps you. If you ever need to make a boat run, you kind of learn something. And thanks for watching. Go ahead and follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Facebook Instagram, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube.